Welcome to the first episode of the Keigo mini series. In this video, you will learn what Teinego is, when to use it, and how to use it. And you will see some example sentences. Teinego te nani? Teinego literally means polite language, and that is exactly what it is. Itsu tsukau no? Teinego is used whenever you want to be polite. This includes the following situations. When you are in public, when you are talking or writing to someone who is not your friend or family, especially someone who has a higher social status than you. This includes people who are older, superiors at work, or any adult you are not friends with. When in doubt, use teinego. However, teinego should be thought of as the baseline or foundation of politeness. And upon this foundation, you add even more polite forms of Japanese, namely sonkeigo and kenjogo. So using the terminology from logic, teinego is necessary but not sufficient for politeness. To put it more simply, teinego is not quite enough to make you sound fully polite, so you need to learn the other forms of keigo. Dou no? This is the section where I talk about grammar, but don't worry, teinego is very easy, and you may even be already familiar with it. Teinego is usually indicated at the very end of a sentence. To use teinego, you need to end your sentence with either desu or masu or gozaimasu. Desu is used when you end a sentence with either meishi, a noun, or keiyo doshi, an adjectival verb. Nouns refer to objects, animals, or abstract concepts. Examples of meishi or nouns in Japanese include taiyo, the sun, inu, dog, otosan, dad, kensuke, a person's name, and seiki, justice. Keiyo doshi or adjectival verbs do not exist in many other languages. They are usually described as a mixture of nouns and adjectives, rather than a mixture of adjectives and verbs, like the name suggests. Keiyo doshi can be followed by na, ni, or da, so it's very easy to spot them. Examples of keiyo doshi, or adjectival verbs, include shiawase, happy, daijoubu, okay, kiken, dangerous, and so on. Keiyoshi, or adjectives, can be followed by desu in most situations. Adjectives in Japanese end in the e sound. For example, ureshi, glad, akai, red, or tadashi, correct. However, using desu with adjectives is technically considered incorrect. The correct ending for adjectives is gozaimasu, but this sounds archaic. For example, the adjective utsukushi, beautiful, would be utsukushu gozaimasu. If you are familiar with informal Japanese, you should notice that no one in Japan talks like this anymore. So it's fine to say, utsukushii desu. Doshi or verbs take masu. Verbs end in the u sound in Japanese. For example, tatakau, to fight, taberu, to eat, and so on. The teneigo versions of these verbs would be tatakaimasu, fight, and tabemasu, eat. Reibun wa? Now, let's look at some example sentences. My father is still alive and in good health, but my mother already passed away. Or, more literally, my mother is already in that world. Kenzai is an adjectival verb that means healthy and alive. Anoyo is a noun that means the world after death. My pug has short legs and he is very cute. In this example, desu follows the adjective kawaii, cute. The old school grammar says that this is incorrect, but the vast majority of native Japanese speakers would accept this sentence. I looked out the window to find a shiba inu walking. In this example, the verb aruku plus the progressive iru is combined with masu. This is the end of this video. In the next episode, I will explain how to use another form of keigo, namely sonkeigo. See you next time.